Welcome, future English majors, in a world driven by communication. Study English opens doors to global opportunities. And here at a university, English isn't just a major; it's a journey into the art of expression and understanding. Join us as we explore the cordial atmosphere, inspiring teachers, practical elective and minor subjects, virtual range of professions, and significance of entrance examinations that make our English program. A transformative experience. Let's take a look. Hello, everyone. Hi.、Uh, it's about 11 a.m. and we're going to、uh, literature class.、Yes. Go again.、Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. <laughs> See,、uh, third floor. This is the view. Good view. Hangan du. Hangan du. Okay, the first person she is an assistant professor who teaches in EFL for the phonology, morphology, syntax, and for my personal experience as her student, I found her to be kind, supportive of a student. She always tries to answer everyone's question to give chances for students to participate in class. Anyway, I appreciate this way she makes challenging concepts easy to understand. And next person. Once I took an essay writing course with him, the first time I had a chat with him, I felt a bit uneasy because of his tall look. Turned out he was very nice and caring to all the students. I must say, whenever I received feedback on my work, his responses were a bit tricky to understand due to his handwriting. However, he was always ready to clarify about answering any question or concern we had. Anyway. You will miss him during your first year here because you have to take an English grammar for communication course with him. Okay, the last person. He is leader of English department, and I got to study literature with him. I really enjoy his teaching style as he makes the classroom as more feel fun and fairy. Whenever it's to arrive, he's quickly finds the reason with his positive energy. He always cheer up all the students. So. I appreciate it. Thank you.、Uh, how do you say updated on the latest trends in English education? So there are two ways that I think help to stay updated on the latest trends. One is having a lot of friends and colleagues in the field and collaborating with them and talking with them very often. So it's great to talk to other teachers here and other teachers that work at different universities to stay up to date. And another thing is this great magazine. This is called English Teaching Forum, and it's published、uh, a few times a year. And it's got lots of great advice and strategies for improving your English teaching. So I also would recommend this. I have copies in my office if anyone's interested、um, to help stay up to date as well.、Uh, how do you foster a supportive and engaging learning environment?、Um, open my doors for them when they need it. <laughs> yeah, it means that.、Um, In class, my students are not nervous because I'm friendly, friendly to、yes. them, and then they can talk to me. They can feel free to talk to me, and also, if you have any questions, just ask me. Yes, they are very supportive. Love you. Thank you. And、um, yeah, I know that the studying in、uh, less pressure atmosphere will help students to learn better. I、yeah. just try to to make them speak more, to share their thoughts more. Yeah, that's the way to learn. If they make mistake, they can learn, you know, from that mistake, and then they can also learn from their classmates. And、um, sometimes I give them presents. Yeah, <laughs> I give them presents when they when they they do well in the class as to reward their hard work.、Yeah. And outside of the class, if they have any further questions, they can、uh, sit down and make an appointment to to meet with me and. Talk to me to clarify what they were. They would like to、uh, understand more deeply. Yes.
Resort. What resort and opportunity are available to students within the department? Okay, uh, opportunities. Uh, okay, I will give you one example of the exciting opportunities for our four-year English major student. Uh, we have uh, full scholarships for students who are interested in taking uh, internship abroad. Um, students can choose uh, their workplace in any country uh, in which they can use English uh, in their work. It can be the Thai embassies, uh, Thai government agencies, company, or even the offices in international universities. Uh, in this academic year, we have two successful candidates. Uh, one is working in the Thai embassy in Kuala Lumpur, in Malaysia, and another one is working in the international office in a Taiwanese university. Can you highlight any special events or initiatives that make the English department stand out? Initiatives, okay. If we talk about initiatives, uh, we have done several things. Uh, one obvious example of the initiative is the smaller class sizes. Um, we reduce the number of students in each class, uh, for example, for writing, speaking, and translation. We now have uh, 15 to 18 students in class. So uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, our classes is much smaller than in other universities. Uh, pretty much the same like in bigger universities like in Jula Kambasara in Chiang Mai. So now teacher can give feedback um, to students, uh, to everyone in the class, that the initiatives, right? Uh, the projects, uh, we have many projects for students like um, speech contest, uh, Christmas get together, uh, we have uh, we take students on a field trip uh, to workplaces to get experiences before their internship. How about you see support students uh, in the future in development after com completing the program? Okay, so one of the focuses of the university is to engage our alumni as much as possible. And we have a lot of activities uh, to achieve that. For example, the graduate school has several trainings that uh, alumni are welcome to participate in. So they can apply online and use our services. For example, they could go on and, and present us with their English writing and we have English language experts to help check their writing, even if you know they have already graduated from the university. The Language Center has offered free online English training program for alumni. So alumni can come back and apply to use the program for free. Uh, at Humanities in the program, we hold uh, teachers training every year during the summer time. So alumni can also apply for that program and come back to join our training for free. So we have a lot of things offered for our alumni. Uh, can you highlight any special event or interview that makes the English department stand out? Okay, a few years ago, we organized an English play, you know, a proper professional-like uh, stage performance, and all the actors were English major students. Uh, we learned a lot from the process from beginning to end and almost all of us was involved in the play in one way or another. So we learned about not just the English language but also the management aspects. Uh, many aspects, for example, budget management, people management, time management, so that was a great experience for all of us students as well as lecturers. And we wanted to continue doing that, but then COVID came and everything changed. So we should bring that back. Choosing a minor subject allows you to explore and gain some appetite in 
a subject outside of your main field of study. Minor subjects can be related to your major or entirely different, depending on your interests or academic goals. Here are minor subjects of our faculty. Uh, French, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, Burmese, Vietnamese, uh, Korean, Indonesian, Thai, Laos, uh, linguistic, uh, history, and finally, philosophy and, re and religion. You are required to enroll in this course when you are in the sophomore year until the junior year. Besides, there are elective subjects that give you a well-rounded education and enhance your knowledge and skills. The first one is English for uh, hotel business. The second, English for airline business. The third, uh, English for mass communication. The fourth, English for business. The fifth, English for tourism. And the last one is uh, English language, society, and culture. During your junior year, you must take four out of six subjects. Um, in the first semester, in your senior year, you might take one more course. That's not the same as the ones you've already taken. Studying English major at our university means diving into a diverse liberal arts education. Uh, this program will captivate your love for language and literature while providing a versatile skill set uh, for diverse careers. Let's see exciting job opportunities for English major. After you are graduated from here, you can work as translator, writer, businessman or businesswoman, uh, English teacher, tour guide, uh, ambassador, director, psychologist or flight attendant. These are just a few parts of career path for English major. There's a lot of career that you can work in. As an English uh, major student at Northwestern University, I strongly believe that you will cultivate a fundamental set of skills that you can easily apply in the work world. Uh, hi, this is my classmate, Green. Uh, he's not from an English major like me. Uh, what are you studying? I am studying Faculty of Science and Major Information Technology. Uh huh. Science. Uh, you submitted a request, right? In U6. In U6. And why do you take this course? The reason that I took this was because I wanted to improve my English speaking skill. The atmosphere in this class is cheerful. I am away excited to learn with him. If, even if he speak quickly as I am the beginner, I try my best to listen to what he said. And my friends are very really supportive, so I like his interactive teaching, and I am really happy that I have taken this course with him. There are two applications. We would like to recommend Tcaster and Degli Tcast search for Mahavichirai Narayan then scroll down to find Kana Madhusa Sahabja Prasakit. These are the university admission criteria. And for more information, you can check them out on the NU admission website. You know. That concludes our video. I hope this information is helpful to incoming students. If you ever feel lost or undecided, this could be the perfect place for you. English provides a solid foundation, and here we welcome you with open arms and ready to support you throughout the next four years. I understand it's challenging to know which path to take sometimes, but you have no reason to be afraid. 
you can face this, you always have.